I have a question. Supposedly God created this universe and that would have to include the creation of time since time is a function of this universe. So that suggests that God lives independently of this universe, lives outside of this universe, which isn't even a, a, a a uh, valid concept because that's asking saying you know considering that something is outside this universe is like asking what's one mile north of the north pole it just doesn't exist there is no outside but presuming there is some realm or some dimension or something where a god could exist then he would have to live or it would have to live outside of the physics that defines this universe and that would include time so then i would argue that this entity does not experience time and if the story in the bible is true regarding genesis that the earth and the entire universe was created in a mere six days then I would have to ask, how long did it take God to create time? Creation is a process. Creation by the very act of creating something takes time. It's not an instantaneous event. So how do you create time? And if um if the what am i trying to say pardon my pregnant pause i've lost my train of thought well anyway it just i you know why did it, it, it okay if he can create time in an instant, which is what it would have to have taken, because first there's time and then there's not. Well, there is no first, there's time, because there's no before time, because that is a time reference to say before. So to say what it, what happened before time began, well, there was no before time, because before is a time reference. But if it took God an instance I mean, an instant in terms of our familiarity with what time is to create time. Why did it take six days or any time at all for him to create the universe and the Earth? And when I say the universe, I mean all the stars, all the galaxies, all the planets, all the dark matter, everything that's out there. It's mind boggling what's out there. Six days. If he can create all of that in six days, again, I have to ask, why did it take 40 days and 40 nights to flood this tiny little planet that we live on? And why bother? Why couldn't he just start over? Why did he have to have a rib from Adam to create Eve if he could have just created Adam out of nothing? Why, why, why? There's so many questions. So if it takes time to create the earth then he must be limited as to what he can do in this universe because he must be governed by the laws that govern this universe he must be limited by what this universe can do and maybe if there is a god the reason we can't see him or it or her or whatever is because God cannot exist in this realm, cannot exist in this universe. Because this universe is outside of God because it's a creation of God. So perhaps he's limited by the physics in the universe and has to conduct himself within those laws and cannot do anything supernaturally outside of them, but perhaps there's some way that he has to influence stuff in the universe and that could lead to a discussion of intelligent design or not.
but I don't know. I'm just kind of randomly thinking out loud here about this stuff. But I am pretty well convinced that there is no creator. There is no God. We don't understand this universe. We never will. How do we expect to understand something that would be bigger and more complex than the universe, such as a god who could create this universe? Because in, in order for something to create this universe, it would have to be more complex and greater than this universe. So then it just goes in this never-ending series of questions. Well, what created God? How did God come into existence? Well, the answer it always is, you always hear, well, he's always existed. That's so convenient. No, he hasn't always existed. Time is a function of this universe. He's existed as long as this universe has existed because that's how long time has existed. But to say he's existed forever, well, you know, to find forever. And where, what realm, where is, where is this God and where does he live? And it just gets crazy and nutty. Just nobody knows the truth and nobody ever will. Everything boils down to the same stuff. We're all made of the same stuff. Animate and inanimate matter alike. But what what is it that makes us tick? Is it just our brains? Is it merely a function of our physical selves? Or is there something more in there? Is there something supernatural? Are there supernatural events? Or is supernatural occurrences scientifically explainable by things that we don't fully understand yet about the universe? There's too many questions to be able to say with any conviction or faith that something is true that you can't possibly understand, can't possibly detect or prove. So why go out of your way to live your life believing that something exists with absolutely no proof, no way to unquestioningly state or show or demonstrate or see or detect in any way shape or form that it's actually real you have to go through life with an open mind you have to i don't i i am a non-theist i cannot ascribe to the concept of god i think it's an idea i think it's it's i think it's an idea it's a concept and I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. But that's my conviction, and that's who I am, and that's how I define myself. I'm a non-theist. But I'm not going to put down people for believing it. It bothers me that people do. It bothers me that people do things in the name of God or in the name of Christ that seem damaging and wrong, but in their mind, it's they're doing God's will or whatever. And I... I I get irritated and concerned for people who are so wrapped up in this this fantasy that I just want to pull them out of there and shake them up and rescue them. But I, I have to stop and think, well, they're probably thinking the same thing of me. You know, they want to save me. And I have yet to understand or figure out what it is I'm supposed to be saved from. But that's, that's my thing, my exploration. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling now, so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, thanks for watching for what it's worth. Uh, I hope you found something interesting in it. If not, well, I, I apologize for taking your time, although it is your choice to keep watching. So, uh, I don't know if I have anything to apologize for. Anyway, thanks for watching and hope to hope you subscribe. All right. I look like the Mona Lisa. <laughs> Maybe I should dress and drag and do a self-portrait. I can look pretty gruesome. I look like an atheist. <laughs>